So let's say 4%, we times that to 0 0.04, you see that 16,000. What is going on family? This is RJ Bautista, your favorite Filipino realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today in this video, I will give you some benefits and comparison of renting a property versus owning a property. Both of them have like cons and pro or advantage and disadvantage. So if you are in defense of renting a property or if you want to buy a property anytime soon, please make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I'm going to give you some benefits, not just the benefits, just point out if renting is good for you or buying a property is better at your current situation but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends because you know why sharing is caring and also last thing if you don't know i am filipino nagtatagalog po ako kung meron po kayong question tawagan nyo po ako text nyo or email me inbox me so without further ado let's jump into it so number one if you are a renter right now or if you think like should I rent for now before buying a property or should I buy property now forget about renting okay not everything buying a property is suit for your needs or if you are renting so long it's better so right now I will tell you like if you are going to rent a property so what will happen is the benefits of renting is a short-term gains or short-term advantage so what do you mean like short-term gains or short-term advantage RJ so when you're renting a property for short-term gains so you're paying probably less than monthly however when you are renting let's say for two years three years four years or five years and you times that from beginning of your rent from day one up to let's say 360 months compared to buying a property from day one 360 months all the money that you just paid or release you're not gonna get back why because you are only renting you're not getting equity which I'm gonna tell you after I finish here in renting side so I would say for short-term gains, if you don't have anything or if you don't have any save up for your savings or for any money, I would say renting is good for now. However, once you save up, try to get pre-qualified for a loan. You don't know, maybe you're qualified for a mortgage loan. So second advantage or second good thing about renting is maintenance. So what do you mean about maintenance now, RJ? So maintenance, yes, once you own a property, you need to maintain a property, okay? So if you are renting a property, what will happen? is there is a landlord who will take care of her or his property right so if you are a renter and you rent this property from the landlord and if you have like any problem in that property that you are renting right now all you need to do is call the landlord say hey landlord I have a problem here in my property can you please come fix this and fix that all right and the landlord what will do he come there or he's gonna get somebody like a maintenance to come to your property fix whatever issue or problem in the property so life is easy right that's another second advantage of renting a property third thing so if you're renting a property you are not stick to 30 years mortgage or 30 years that you need to be there in the property right because if you are buying a property we have like either 15 years mortgage or 30 years mortgage whatever you want to do so once you're renting a property you will probably get there for one year for a lease contract or maybe two years for a lease contract or maybe more it depends on how you negotiate or your contract will be with the landlord okay so what could happen is if you are traveling a lot okay and then you need to get the property in some place for only a year and then you need to get the property for a year and you need to travel after a year to a different place so if you are renting I think that will be a advantage for you because you are not stuck there buying a property for only a year and then you need to travel again after a year and so on after a year right you don't have to worry about selling your property all you can do is is just either break your lease or finish your lease for a year and then find another property to live in so that's the three advantage for you if you want to rent a property right now however let's go to buying a property which is my favorite right now okay so if you're going to buy a property there's a lot of advantage what I said before it's not all about advantage we also have this advantage of this however I will give you some three advantage as well to make it fair to the one who wants to rent so number one advantage if you're going to buy a property not just right 
right now or in the future whatever you pay in your property you will get it back so it is your investment so think about this once you own a property every year or even sometime in six months you will get an equity in your property so if you don't know about the equity it means like this is the value of your property which is going up over time so it means like once you buy a property the property value doesn't go down it just go up over time because as you know this is a property who doesn't go value or go down the value compared to other things like a car once you buy a car or a brand new car once you drive or drove that car outside from the car shop or car garage the value of the car go down straight away and it's not gonna go up however if you're going to buy a property the property is always go up okay so however once you pay a property or once you bought a property whatever the price of the property will be a equity every year or which is in six months it so it depends on the location how does the location grow okay so let's say for example i give you a quick but whatever you pay for a mortgage and then how much you're gonna get equity all right are you excited for this i am too let me get my calculator and do this math as i said before i'm not good in math so here's my calculator so let's say your property value is four hundred thousand. to make it easy okay see that four hundred thousand? i will times that to let's say your property will appraise or you get like equity for four percent normally like between three percent to five percent your property will appraise it depends as i said on the location and it depends on the condition of your property so let's say four percent we times that to 0 0.04 you see that sixteen thousand. you will get like that sixteen thousand equity in your property within like a year or normally sometimes in six months it depends as i said in the location of your property i'm not an appraiser or a lender but this is how it works when you own a property so that's the number one advantage when you're buying a property compared to renting a property second tax deduction oh my god tax season is coming up if you're watching this video i made this video like end of november thanksgiving happy thanksgiving to all of you guys and in about couple of months tax season is coming up all right so what will happen is you have paid taxes i am not a tax consultant or tax agent that i could help you about taxes but if you own a property what you can do is you can deduct some taxes from the interest rate that you are paying in your mortgage once again i am not a tax advisor or tax agent but if you go into your cpa and if you tell them what is your mortgage that you're doing and how much you pay for your interest rate and even sometimes if you're going to live in your property you can have a homestead so if you don't know about homestead if you're going to live here in florida we will have a homestead as long as you are the primary residence of the property so it means like you're paying homestead or property tax for at least $200 a month and then if the homestead you will get like $50 to $100 savings from your monthly property tax fee okay that's the homestead here as long as you're gonna live in your property or this is gonna be your primary residence so that's another advantage if you are going to buy a property rather than renting a property so the third advantage that I'm gonna tell you if you're going to own your property is like you don't have any limitation that you could do in your property so what do you mean by that so if you are renting a property you are probably limited that what can do in your property because that's not your property it's the landlord property remember so once you own the property you can do whatever in your property because you own that let's say if you want to drill some holes in your wall you can do that because it's your property right it's it's named to you you can do whatever you want in your property and then compared to renting if you're going to rent you have to tell to the landlord to give you permission that you can do something here however here in the property if you are an owner you can do whatever you want because you own this property so this is the video for today guys what do you think of this video do you think renting is good for you or buying a property not, not just right now maybe in the future is benefit for you let me know in the comment box below and also if you watch this video until this end comment down below florida so i can see how many people who wants to rent a property here in florida or maybe who wants to buy a property here in florida who knows right as you know i'm specializing in new construction here in central florida if you want to know about specifically location i'm located in davenport florida lake county and polk county if you're looking to buy any properties around this area hook me up i will help you let me know text me inbox me and i will help you out until next time once again thank you for watching this video i'll talk to you soon peace what is going on guys Oh, should I say what is going on family?
Come on, Jay. Oh. Let's do it again, part two. Mm.